And I think one of the most kind of compelling facts from this article was that half of the people surveyed in it are looking to quit their job because they're sort of being made to go back into the workplace, into the office. And I thought, oh, that, you know, it feels a shame because you're just losing all that talent for something that might easily be saved if there was just a little bit more flexibility there. And I think it's quite hard just to jump from one way of working straight back into another, especially with the the pressure of the cost of living crisis that so many people are facing at the moment. And just people having to make that choice, OK, is it worth my while going back to work if I'm not, you know, if the childcare is outstripping it, the benefit yeah. um it's a really difficult decision for people to make yeah of you jules yeah i i agree i think it's a real shame that people are having to make those decisions i actually saw a post on linkedin just last week from a recruiter basically saying that if a company wanted people to work five days in the office then they had to be prepared to pay more for that person because they were finding that candidates didn't want it so they wanted two to three days maximum in the office so that they could manage their flexible childcare arrangements 